Hi guys. It is. It is or should be a spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful day here in the end times. Little bit of this fucking smoke returning to the air here, but it is the 4th of July. The 4th of July. Good God. July 4th, 2023. And waiting for all the goddamn Cretans to start blowing up their fucking whatever. And. Ugh, Jesus. So I am, uh trying to make my escape I have a uh, <clears throat> good god so it's the 4th of July and I and and there at Bugs in a Jar Farm I have one family of Chinese people next to a family of Indian people <laughs> and, you know Indians from India uh, so it is an Asian melting pot on the 4th of July at Bugs in a Jar Farm and we got let's see we got two two-year-olds a four-year-old a five-year-old Jesus fucking Christ and I have just got to get the hell out and uh, take a break from all this fucking little kid energy that has invaded my peace and quiet here in my retirement. <laughs> so, yes, this was supposed to be my retirement. You know, the little dog and I, we spent four years out in uh, the Pacific Northwest, four summers trying to decide where we were going to retire to spend our golden years. And uh, <laughs> as you well know, ended up in upstate New York to get away from the wildfire smoke and uh, so we've had some blessed two or three days of good rain so for one day we have actually had blue sky and no wildfire smoke although I can already feel it creeping back in so I thought I should get out and take a little Right, I have not even been around this loop. This is the first time I have been. This is the loop right behind my house, the Shindakin Hollow Loop. Uh, the first time I have made this trip since I got here two months ago. Uh, you know, thinking about my retirement, I have never worked so hard in my fucking life. Never worked this hard in my life until I retired. And, uh, <laughs> oh boy, it is how the, the universe does have a sense of humor. So I was reading this article today apparently with no sense of irony no sense of irony this uh, I want to take a pause here for brother Alistair so Alistair as far as I can tell this place is still here uh, but Alistair has other real estate dreams so uh, any who's uh, I was reading this article today you know I love it when they ask a question in a in a headline the headline of this article was can you retire can you retire on two and a half million dollars in the bank uh, you know all of these people uh, and, including the, the people that at Bugs in a Jar uh, here on the 4th of July working remotely on the 4th of July uh, this this article was seriously asking the question can a person retire with two and a half million dollars socked away <laughs> oh god two and a half million fucking dollars 
and they were pointing out in the article somewhere that uh, so if you retire at 65 uh, with two and a half million dollars if you just had two and a half million dollars in cash sitting under your mattress that you could take one hundred thousand dollars a year one hundred thousand dollars a year in cash out of your two and a half million dollars are earning no interest uh, any, just with with two and a half million dollars one hundred thousand dollars you could do that every year for 25 years till you were 90 so uh, if it, so they were taking that you know absurd scenario that you put two and a half million dollars in cash under your bed and until you are 90 and I think the average lifespan in the US is what is it about 76 uh, that if you live 14 years past the average lifespan you can have one hundred thousand dollars a year now they didn't divide what is one hundred thousand dollars divided by three hundred and sixty five uh, is that uh, well anyway I cannot do the math to see what you could spend every day let's see so 65 Let's see, 360, 365. So I guess that would be what? Uh, every day of the year you would have, what, $35 <coughs> somewhere in there. Uh, so they started with that scenario, and uh, but, but they were actually uh, mapping this out that they're, that they're Apparently that there's people, uh, at least in this country, freaking out that they cannot retire at age 65 with two and a half million fucking dollars in the bank. And uh, so I did some quick uh, calc. So I am uh, a little over one year away from age 65. So, uh, I am about 1% of the way, uh, about 1% of the way in, in my own uh, savings uh, <laughs> to the two and a half million dollars, and I, I feel fine. Uh, <laughs> It, you know, I, I used to actually, I've, I've mentioned this before, so you know, until I took that heroic dose of mushrooms in 2008, you know, when I was a real estate investor and real estate agent, uh, that I had met this old man. <clears throat> I was selling a, 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 one of his houses, and so he was a real estate investor, so I think this man was right around 80 years old. He was a real estate investor, so this was his uh, strategy for retirement. And he was, uh, you know, I was a young whippersnapper at about age, I don't know what I was, 44 or 45. Uh, Alistair, I need to stop in here and look at these rocks to see uh, how many of these rocks are left. So uh, I was this young whippersnapper about half his age, you know, trying to figure out my real estate investment portfolio. We're talking 2006, I'm pretty sure the year was. And so what this old man had done, and he was highly recommending to this 40-something young whippersnapper that what you do, what you want to do is by the age of 65 that, uh, so I had about 20 years to do this, he said what you want to do 
is keep buying and holding real estate. Uh, and, and he was actually, you know, buying houses, uh, buying, uh, you know, houses and renting them out. I don't know if he did any raw land or not. So, uh, what do you think, Alistair? Can we get it this year? Can we come up here and get this one? And uh, so he's, he told me, what you want to do, young man, is buy 40 houses by uh, the time you are 65. You know, which is supposed to be retirement age, buy 40 houses. That's your goal. By your 65th birthday, you own 40 houses. I was a, you know, I was a single man with no children. Okay, as a single man with no children, this man telling me so I could retire comfortably to buy 40 houses by the time I was 65 and then to celebrate uh, my 65th birthday to start selling put one of your houses up for sale and every six months every six months sell another house so you sell two houses a year so when you're 85 you will have sold, uh, you know what I'm saying, you will have sold your 40 uh, investment properties. And that's what you live on from 65 to 85 is the money from uh, selling a house every six months. And uh, he assured me that uh, I would never lack money and so when you're 85 uh, you know whatever m money you have socked away from the sale of 40 houses uh, and I actually bought into this uh, and I was up to what was I up to five uh, well I had my you know, my quote, main house and four, I'm, I'm losing track. I think I was up to five uh, when uh, I found uh, Terrence McKenna on YouTube in the year 2007 and asked uh, Terrence McKenna for his advice on buying 40 40 houses <laughs> by the time I was 65 and uh, Terrence McKenna helped uh, me understand that uh, that was the wrong the wrong path to be on uh, I am completely blind right now guys I have no idea where this road is so uh, anyway, in 2008, I, you know, took the heroic dose of mushrooms and the ayahuasca and the San Pedro cactus and all of this and uh, <laughs> moved to the Peruvian Amazon and thinking that uh, <clears throat> I was going to go to Peru to escape the end times and uh, here we are in New York baby 15 15 years later after making the decision to to retire to the Peruvian Amazon I am in the wildfire smoke of upstate New York and uh, I guess I can thank Sandy Shellis as much as the fucking mushroom god and Terrence McKenna for this choice. Oh man, I don't know what this stuff is, but it sure smells good. Looks fairly invasive. Not sure I want to move this into my... Oh man, but does that smell... I don't know what that stuff is. T 
two and a half million dollars. I, I, I could just imagine sitting around with two point four million dollars in the bank. You know, I'm I'm sixty five years old and I only have two point four million dollars instead of two point five million dollars in the bank and uh freaking out will I end up in the poorhouse if I don't make that last hundred thousand dollars that there, there's really people that fucking clueless on this planet uh, I would like to know it did not say in the article what percentage of Americans uh, age 65 have uh, you know two and a half million dollars uh, available to draw on uh, now of course my dear sweet sister she does that must be you know and, and I'm not knocking it I'm it must be a nice goddamn I don't I don't want anything that I just said here to uh, suggest on any level that I would not love to have two and a half million dollars, uh, you know, in the bank right now, which is, I don't know, roughly 100 times uh, what I have, and it's probably 500 times uh, what a lot of people listening to this do. I'm, I'm quite happy being uh, a one percenter on uh, one percent of the way to uh, two and a half million fucking dollars. I mean, it, it's just really sad. It's really fucking sad to uh, to think of people actually freaking out whether they can retire with only two and a half million fucking dollars. Uh, j just the very fact that this article was even written and then published in the mainstream media is uh, as big a testament to anything while we're so fucked. Uh, Lord. But anywho's that's what I'm thinking about on the 4th of July. Where would I be on the 4th? If I was in Austin, Texas right now, I would be uh, in a jammed shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder packed crowd in 100 degree heat with about, I don't know, 50, 60,000 people uh, crammed into Zilker Park to uh, watch a bunch of clueless fucking morons blowing off a bunch of fireworks. That's where I would be right now. If I were in Austin, Texas, I would be sitting in 100 degree heat waiting for the fireworks. Instead, I'm driving around in the 72 degree, the 72 degree heat. Uh, no fireworks for me tonight, but I fully expect my neighbors <clears throat> to be blowing off uh, how many hundreds of dollars worth of fireworks. So I'm hoping tomorrow that I can bring you one of my favorite uh, roundups wrap-ups of the year and that's how many clueless fucking morons blew their hands or their faces off I've already found one about uh so the first one and not even the 4th of July yet uh, let's see there was one where a storage unit blew up and burned to the ground but the other one was about where this uh, clueless fucking moron in Indiana, I guess, had one of these big fireworks that was somehow stuffed inside a tube. 
you know, it's stuffed inside a cardboard tube or something. So he lights the firework and it doesn't go off. The firework does not go off. And so what he does is he looks inside the tube. Uh, he, he puts his eye, looks down inside the tube, trying to see why the firework did not ignite. And you know the rest of this story. My comment uh, to that story was, what was the clueless moron looking for? A money back refund? Anyway, I have to go check out this uh, ground cover. I'm thinking of trying to get this Vinca ground cover established at Bugs in a Jar Farm. My guys.